Mr. Wafetu, uh, back again. Uh, so this time uh, I actually won a remix competition here on YouTube. Uh, so I entered uh, the competition from XT's channel, Bedroom Studio Corner. And it was a remix competition for a certain vocal, the one you just heard now now. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna do what I usually do on this channel for those who've been here for quite some time. And for the guys who are actually new, I'm gonna go through the project in depth and how I managed to do the, the remix itself. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy and learn something. And I also want to send a shout out to the guys who actually entered the competition. Yeah, it was a tough one. There are a lot of dope producers there on that channel. And uh, hopefully we'll keep on working together and find something new to do. Thanks. Let's jump right in. Already have the project loaded here. Uh, as you can see, these are some of the stuff I use. So, the first thing that I was sure to do was to make the vocal my own. By that I mean I was gonna mess around with it until it sounded something like something else. So as you can see, this BPM was original 125, but my track is uh, 111, so I just went down very, very, very low, very low to a sort of chilled beat. That's what I was aiming for, for a chilled, broken beat with that kind of vibe. And secondly, the the original key of this track was, I think it was D, the root note was like D, but I managed to change, I had to change the the key also, so I just shifted it downwards, shifted it down because uh, this So this is uh, what it sounded like, the key. But the memories, they haunt my soul. Oh damn. Let me just mute this for now. I'll come back to this later. As you can hear, that's the original page. Yeah, and uh, this is what I changed it to. Next thing, I just let me just show the processing of this vocal very quickly. As you can see, I just killed the low part of the bit of the vocal. Oh, oh, Hello, oh, oh, oh. And then I compressed it with this limiter, and then uh, some delay. And reverb to top everything off. Secondly, was uh, now the, the the feel the atmosphere of the track. I was actually going for something very chilled. So in the introduction, I was going to be smooth. So the first thing, uh, I think this is what made more impact. I don't know why it's not playing now. Okay. 
सोती है So that sound, that sound is, is very dope. So, it's GMS plugin, this lead, with just some delay and reverb, but at a very low volume. So I just wanted to sit at the back. I even automated it. As you can hear, it's it's uh, it's laid back, and you have some some jungle effects here, white life, and then this little reverb to start everything. Then next were the, the first chords, which were a bit high up. So that uh, that was the progression I was going to go for throughout the, the track. Uh, As you can hear, I automated the cutoff of this GMS plugin. And then from then were the chords. So, uh, as you've noticed, there's, uh, there's only stock plugins. I usually use stock plugins every time I produce these days. For forever, I've been using stock plugins. Does this pad I also introduced here? So what I liked about this pad is it's uh, it's hit as a more low end. So my main aim was like to have this first one, which is uh, which is a bit higher, has a bit more high frequencies. Then introduce this one, which has a lot of which has a lot of low frequencies so at this point uh, I was sort of building up to this moment when I introduced this bass pad if I may put it that way so we can sort of play it here too So you can actually hear the vibe of the track, the the whole atmosphere. It's not, it's coming, it's coming through very smooth. Everything is coming through at the right pace. I'm not rushing anything. So uh, at the same time, I'm introducing this. I'm also building up the first melody. So my first melody is actually this plugged plugin. This is also a stock plugin. I use it a lot. Everyone maybe knows this. So I just re ah, <laughs> as you can see, I didn't EQ it. Maybe forgot some simple delay. And reverb. So my trick is yeah. When I was introducing this melody, I was slowly building up with my second complementary melody. I usually use use two melodies, but yeah, I use the second one. 
Okay, it's not audible at this point. Let's try here. So it's drum bell, simple drum bell, say trust plugin. I also didn't do much here because it already has a lot of effects. So this one is automated right after this one. So as this just concluded building up its volume, this one is coming up. But I quickly killed this volume of this plug because I was aiming for this drop here. This drop was going to be more impactful with less stuff so what i usually do on the drop is uh i should have take 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 out some elements so that when the drop hits it will hit it will hit even much harder because most elements just came back so that's what i did at this point at the This one exactly, I killed it here. Yeah. You can see its volume is drops at this point. And then it comes back after that drop. So the next thing I'm gonna focus on, uh, I think those are the symbol melodies and the drums. Let me check out the drums also. Okay, I think there's this other... There's this second melody which is a bit different. Yeah, it's at this point when I introduce the shake. Right after the drop here. Okay, some fun stuff just happened there. I think I might have... Mm. Okay, it's just this. So this, uh, this other melody... Uh, So there's this other, this this few keys going up and down. I, I introduced later on when I I drop this shake, this tambourine here. So and uh, then the bass is just also follows the same progression of the chords. Simple as that also. Now I have um, a few shakers here. Yeah. And what uh, we may not notice was this pad. I think this pad is very important because it carries a lot of high frequencies and its key progression is different.
I love this a lot because it almost sounds like white noise and there's very very if there are even any low frequencies I'm sure you, there's a lot the very very little frequencies so I just <laughs> What I love, it's it's not easy to hear, but you can see the track at this point. It sounds full, very full at this point. That's why it's because I added this and those tambourine shakers. So from this point, I was approaching this bridge, which is uh, too long. Shit. Oh. Mistake. So, uh, at this bridge. First of all, I killed most things here, as you can see, I killed this. Uh, I killed the drums, I killed shakers, I killed the, the... I killed almost everything at this point. Because I wanted to, it for, to drop very low and to sort of relax at this point for a very long time. And then I was quickly going to introduce back my same elements that I've used later on but differently and one one thing I actually did was to chop up the same vocal and make you see as you can see this there's a number three here there's number two I don't know what was the number one but there's a, a, a different chops and I made them unique I sent this to a different channel almost did the same thing but uh, the effects that I use with were actually different a uh, lot of delay as you can see and a lot of reverb and I killed most of the low frequencies as you can see this is the this is the only part that plays the track yeah Be stars, stars, stars. Okay. and they go 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 so there these are the I just introduce those 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 high frequencies. So these vocal shows were very nice at the uh, same as this one also. And here I, I try to play the <laughs> I try to play keys. I don't even know how to play keys, so believe it or not, I map I mapped this out using my mouse. Damn. All of these keys from this point here. So this is just FL keys, FL keys plugin, and uh, a lot of delay and reverb symbol, and I just played this. As you can hear, I'm slowly bringing back my melodies at this point. Till here. So this last, I don't know if it's eight bars or two bars. I removed my my my, my progression because of the drop. That's the main reason why this bridge has been so long. So I had to drop hard at this point. So that's why I sort of took this space yeah
as you can see I used the same technique as before I killed this plug volume and then quickly went up right at the drop there so I'm just gonna play this part yeah Yeah, that's almost it as you can see there's not much done on this track but what I've managed to use the little that I've used uh, I've used it very effectively there's not some stuff that I just used uh, for waste of time and that's what I usually do on most of my production I don't use a lot of things but what I usually use I know it will be very impactful on the track itself and uh, another basic trick or tip when i use the little stuff they are much more easier to mix than when you add a lot of complicated things so let's go to the drums here simple head just a broken kick This element has, has a lot of reverb to it, and another thing is that you see the the key. I remember having uh, this argument with the uh, friends. I think last year they said drums can never be off key, but this definitely what this was here. But it didn't sound right, so the right key. which goes with this one the B which is the root note of the track so I just had to change that ok I don't know what happened there quickly had to change this from there which gives that vibe with the kick I, I love its vibe with the kick this thing don't know which one is the And the tempo also. Can't get any simpler than that. This tempo just nothing much done here. Just put this and brrr, went straight there. Sounded just like that. And those are my drums. I don't know what's this. Oh, this is a snap. Snap. Okay, the trick to getting this particular sound is to layer these two things. And the way that I layer them is this one. And there's this one. So I just wanted this snap to be the one which carries out the load, the reverb, the outer reverb. And this, I don't know what, what I don't know what this thing is. It was just gonna be right in front of me here, with not that much reverb. 
And yeah, that's that's basically everything. If there's something else you want to know, just ask, 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 and I'm here. I'll answer. I'll see, I see every comment on this page. I think that's uh, that's everything. That's everything. That's everything.